in order to protect your husband? I did. Are you not through your teeth in order to get amnesty for your husband? Definitely not, Mr. Bezos. George Bezos arrived in South Africa in 1941, having fled from the German invasion of Greece together with his father. He was only 13 years old at the time, and following the kind help of a female teacher, Mrs. Feinstein, George was accepted at the Athlone High School for Boys. The late 1940s was a politicized period in South Africa and the world. The National Party had just assumed power, introducing with it an apartheid state. As a law student at the University of the Vedvatesrand, George gave a fiery speech at the Great Hall, courting the attention of the security police. We didn't have a public address systems in those days, but I spoke at the top of my voice. And I said that if wanting all our fellow students, black or white, to be treated properly makes me a leftist. I'm proud to be one. Bezos joined the Johannesburg Bar in 1954. Practicing as an advocate, Bezos worked closely with the then prominent Mandela and Tambo practice. Mandela and Tambo uh, made a name for themselves uh, throughout the country. They, had people coming to them from all over the country. People were very proud, black people were very proud to be represented in court by, uh, by black uh, attorneys. They couldn't appear in the High Court, the Supreme Court, and they needed counsel. And there were a number of us, about half a dozen, that did a lot of work for them, and I was among them. In the 1960s, Bezos formed part of the team that defended people like Nelson Mandela, Govan Becky, and Walter Sisulu in the Rivonia trial. He played a great role, and he, because he was not only a lawyer, he was a friend of the people by then. He was, he knew everybody there. He had worked with them on many other occasions, and to him, it was a matter that he had to get these people off, and especially the death sentence that was looming. It is an idea of which I hope to live and to see realized. But my Lord, if it needs be, it is an idea for which I am prepared to die. Defendants of the Delmas trial dubbed Bezos Matla Atlou, the power of the elephant because of the way he would crush the credibility of key state witnesses. As soon as the state has finished his evidence, he stands up almost as if he has had a week to study the evidence of this person and he has his ducks in a row, he is able to efficiently cross-examine the witness and and you know just uh, destroy uh, you know what was false he would be able to to deal with in his relentless pursuit for justice Bezos represented a number of prominent figures in the struggle like Chris Honey and Winnie Mandela he loved Winnie he was very very happy to and Winnie had many, many cases against her. I mean, she had a rough time all those years. The police were on her at every turn. And there were so many cases that Winnie had, uh, had to have defended. And George was always there for her. He could always see the humanity in everybody, including his adversaries. And that was quite remarkable. So certainly, uh, compassion is a, is a huge quality that he has. Even even for his adversaries. His contribution towards the liberation of South Africa remains immeasurable. Dumiso Mashaba, SABC News, Johannesburg.